God blinds and hardens no one against their will. Now, you may wrestle with me on that one. But I believe that's true. In other words, God doesn't need to make men unwilling. He must make them willing in the day of His power. The Bible never says that He must make men unwilling. That's you by nature. You say, well, God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. And you also know, if you know that, that Pharaoh hardened his own heart, right? You say, well, which is it? Well, it's both. It's both. That's why back in our text in Matthew 13, verse 13, Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. They willingly close their eyes. They willingly resist. That's why he is speaking in parables. But if you go to Mark's account, it says, it doesn't say, therefore I speak to them in parables because, it says I speak to them in parables so that, which is true, both. There comes a point in time where there is a hardening that happens, where there is no return, there is no hope. It is over. Okay, so why? So his, just understand this. The ones Jesus had in view were not loving him and desiring to hear the truth, and he chose to prevent them. He didn't speak parables because they were just wanting to come to him. He said, I'm going to stop that. No, I, I agree with what you said in the first hour. Those who desire to come, Jesus does not say, no, I didn't pick you. You don't see that in the Scriptures. His message to them in parables, in a sense, brought to conclusion what was already at work in them and confirm them in that place of darkness. So then, why does Jesus speak to them in parables? So there's two of these two groups of people that are in the crowd, they're going to be speaking. Some of, them, some of them are already identified as disciples, some of them not yet. But Jesus is speaking parables to expose the two categories of people. And this helped me when I saw this. He's exposing those who hear and those who don't. And you might even say those who want to hear and those who don't want to hear, knowing that those who want to hear, it's by the grace of God. And those who don't want to hear are left to their own natural inclination. But the same message is, is delivered. And that's one of the things we'll see in the parable of the sower. The same message was delivered, but with different results as the parable of the sower will tell us. Like Paul said of the preaching of the gospel, it is to those, to the one, the savor of death unto death, and to the other, the savor of life unto life. That's what happens in the preaching of the gospel, 2 Corinthians 2.16. Disciples are identified by their seeing and hearing with eyes and ears opened, open to truth and desiring the truth. 